Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a minimal makeup routine for you guys on this look right here. I've recently discovered some wonderful makeup products, you guys, that I have been loving for my everyday makeup routine, and I really want to share them with you guys. So if you're interested in knowing how to create this soft, minimal makeup look that I'm wearing right now, and if you're interested in knowing what products I've currently been loving for every day and just have been loving in general, then make sure to keep on watching. All right, you guys, so the first product I'm going in with is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I absolutely love using this stuff right now because my skin has been so dry lately because of the winter weather. I do have oily skin, but in the winter, I always find I need a little extra help, so that's why I've been loving this product. If you guys want to purchase this product for yourselves, I do have a link down below in my description box, so make sure you guys check that out. Next up, I've been loving the Skin Ink Supplement Bar. I have used this quite a bit in a lot of my videos. I love using this kind of in my T-zone. It really helps out my large pores. So I will just place that right there and I'll just blend that in. And lastly, for base prep, I love to go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Skin is prepped and ready to go. I want to go in with some base products. I'll be using the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector in the shade 2. And I'm just going to take this product and apply it around my mouth and a little under my eyes. And this is just going to help kind of correct the skin in these areas so they don't look so dark and discolored. All right, so currently I have been loving Tinted Moisturizer and specifically I've been loving the Per 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. So I did get this in a boxy charm, you guys, and I recently kind of rediscovered it. Um, I didn't really care about it too much when I first received it, but I did come across it and I tried it out and I haven't been able to put it down since. So the color match is a little bit off, you guys will see, because I did get it in a boxy charm, so I didn't actually pick it out myself, but it does work for the most part. I just have to blend it out, and because it's a tinted moisturizer and it's more of a natural finish, I can blend it out and get away with it, and it does work. So yeah, I've just been obsessed with this, you guys, and I have never been able to really find a tinted moisturizer that works for me, so i really just been loving this product, and it's making me want to explore more tinted moisturizers so if you guys have any suggestions for me of what your favorite tinted moisturizer is definitely comment down below and let me know I definitely want to try out more because I love how it feels on my face for every day it's definitely a lot more comfortable and breathable than like a caked up foundation look so yeah I've been loving this so definitely let me know in the comments down below I am taking my time with it because I don't want to get it on my hijab, but honestly you guys, this is how I put it on. I just go in as if it's a moisturizer, just blend it out with my hands. So moisturizer is on, what I like to do is just take my beauty blender with nothing on it and just kind of bounce that all over the face. And this is just going to make sure that there's no kind of streak lines on the face. Um, from the moisturizer you want to make sure everything is nice and blended out I'm grabbing the stack the odds in the shade sassy pants by Ali oop I have been loving this product you guys. It's basically a cream blush contour and highlight I did do a review of this product on my channel Make sure you guys check that out if you are interested in seeing me try all three you guys definitely like that video So if you haven't seen that go check it out so today I'm just going to use the contour product. I've been loving this for every day. It's a cream product and it goes really well with tinted moisturizer. The brush that I'm using to apply this is the Morphe E4 brush. I just love how effortlessly this blends into the skin and gives such a nice kind of definition to the cheeks. I love it. I'm just going to take a little bit down the sides of my nose doesn't have to be perfect, 
just add a little bit of color there. And I will blend this out later when I go in with concealer and I'll definitely sharpen it, but I like to just apply a little bit of product there. Next up, I want to add some blush and I'll be using the Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush and Illuminator Stick. So I have been using this in a lot of my videos because I absolutely love this product, you guys. So I'm using the blush side and I like to just go directly on to the face and apply the product and then I'll go in and blend it out with my beauty sponge. Sometimes I like to smile just so it gives me a little bit of a guide. I like to always go in with a little bit more. I always like a bright blush look. I feel like that's just kind of what I've been loving and I love pairing that with lips because I like to keep my eyes really minimal for every day so I let my cheeks and my lips do a lot of the talking. So I've been liking adding a little bit more coverage to my under eyes so I'm grabbing the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to apply this under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin so basically everywhere where I would like to highlight when I'm doing a glam look. I like to go in with this. This just adds a little bit more brightness to the face, a little bit more coverage for my under eyes, and adds just a nice glow to the face, which is honestly what I love about the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It gives you a nice radiant glow. So I'm obsessed. I love this stuff. Applying the concealer down the bridge of my nose definitely helped me to clean up the contour that I applied. And of course, I did put a little bit of blush on the tip of my nose, and this just adds really nice dimension to the nose. I'm taking some Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder and I have the shade Pound Cake and I'm just going to set all of the concealer in place. Of course, I love to add this powder around my mouth, so I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to take a little bit of powder to clean up the contour. Just as a quick way to prep my lids when I'm doing everyday makeup is I like to just set them with some setting powder. I'm just going to brush away the setting powder because it's all done setting on my face. And with whatever excess product I have, I will just kind of tap it over other parts of my face. I do want to add some highlight to the face, so I'll be using the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo, and I'm going to use this highlight right here. Just going to go in with my finger and apply that directly onto the face. I'm prepping my lips with the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. So I'm just going to apply this and let it kind of plump up my lips while I do my brows and my mascara. For brows, I'm using the Benefit Give Me Brow and I'm in the shade 4. For mascara, I have the Merit Mascara. I'm absolutely in love with this mascara, you guys. They recently sent me a mini version of their, I believe it's called the Lengthening Mascara Clean Lash. I'm obsessed. It's such a comfortable mascara for every day, you guys. So I'm going to pop this on my eyes. All right, you guys, lashes are done. And I've been loving just applying it on my top lashes and leaving my lower lash line clean so that's what I did. I did go ahead and, and take off the Too Faced lip plumping gloss because it's done doing its thing. So we're almost done with the makeup look for today. I'm going in with the Basic Beauty lip liner in the shade Coco and I'm going to slightly overdraw my lips with this. And for lips I'm going in with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream. I love this stuff you guys. I'll be using the shade Desert Rose today. I've been loving this shade for my everyday makeup look lately. I did recently try a bunch of these on my channel. I created a testing video. I tested them out, tried them on my lips, swatched them for you guys, and did a haul. So if you guys want to check out that video and see what other shades they have in this line, make sure to check out that video. I'll have it linked up here and down below in the description box for 
you guys. And the very last thing I like to do to set my makeup in place and lock it in is to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to check out my playlist. I have a bunch of everyday, simple, minimal makeup routines for you guys. This is just my current routine that I've been loving and these current products that I've been loving. So you'll see it always changes because I love to use new products, try things out, fall in love with things and then share it with you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And you guys, that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!